Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy Annie Z with What If Bell Had The Boosted Gear Part 5. So, let's get started. Bell was standing there in his Red Dragon Emperor armor as Orario and the gods were shocked and in disbelief that Bell had killed one of their kin, another god also known as Apollo. The humans were terrified but also in awe, showing them that humans had the potential to surpass even the divine. Bell then reverted back to his human form, where his scales on his body just turned into nothing. Good work partner, you showed everyone the power of the Red Dragon Emperor, and not to mess with the Red Dragon Emperor, Drake said. Thanks Drake, Bell said, as Bell walked over to Freya, who had a adoring smile on her face. Well done my little bunny, you showed everyone your true power, Freya said, as Bell beamed at the praise that he got. And then Freya rubbed his he he hair, giving a head pat. Let's go to our new home, my little bunny. Your new home, actually, Freya said as Bell nodded. As the two walked to the former Apollo familiar mansion, now the Bell Mansion, or as Hestia called, or as Freya called it, the Bunny Mansion. They then entered it as Freya pulled him into a hug. You did good, my little Bell, my little bunny. Really good. I'm so proud of you. I want to tell you that since. The day I met you, I fell in love with you. You were so pure and cute. I know you like that eyes girl, and I can't rep reproduce with humans, so I'll let you have her, as an, and one other, Seer said. I love you too, my goddess, Bell said, as he caught her lips with his own, shocking her as the two went on for a minute before stopping. Seer was panting. She never felt someone so dominant in her life. Ha 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 ha. Congratulations, partner. You got yourself your first mate. Your grandpa will be so proud of you. <coughs> Drake said. Drake, stop your embarrassing me, Bell said as Drake laughed. Never, Drake replied as Say laughed at the interaction between the two. They were like brothers. No, even closer than that. Bell then heard a knock on the door. As the two went to open it, they saw Eyes Wallenstein. Uh, uh, Eyes? Wallenstein? What's up? Why are you here? Bell asked. I want to see if Bunny was okay and asked you if you would help train me, I said cutely with emotionless eyes. Sure, Bell said. I want to also join the party with Bunny as well, I said. You, you want to join my party? But but what about your old party? Bell asked. I told the whole familia and only Lefia and Beat was against it, but they don't control me. So can I join? I asked. Of course we can. If you don't mind working with well for Mikoto and me, Bell said. I don't mind. I said, pouting, as she wanted to be alone with Belle. Mikoto and Wealth then was seen at the door, as Wealth bro-hugged Belle, my bro beating a god. Who would have thought that? But is Lady Freya here? Both of us wants to join her familia. Our families have joined us to, um, allowed us to leave, and we want to be with you, Belle, Wealth said, as Belle nodded as the two went to Freya, who let them enjoy the, join the familia, as the three then started to move in after I's left. Suddenly rapid knocking is heard as Bell saw a girl from the Mikoto's old familiar ask them where Mikoto was. Bell then told them as Bell then saw the two speak privately. Time skip the next day. Bell and Wealth see Mikoto coming late. Didn't she sleep? asked Wealth. I don't think she came home last night. We should follow them next time to make sure they're safe, Wealth said. Sure, Bell said. Time skip tonight. Both Bell and Wealth were following Mikoto. As they entered the Ishta familiar territory, the pleasure culture, they continued to follow Mikoto, but Bell got separated from the group where several girls, knowing of his achievements and seeing how cute and adorable he was, wanted them to do him. Them. Bell refused and ran away as he wanted to stay loyal to Seer and to Eyes as he took a moment to think about why he thought about eyes. Bell then escaped and made it to where Haruhime lived, but Bell and Haruhime talked for a bit, where they talked about hero stories, and Bell told Haruhime about the past Red Dragon Emperors, the stories that Draga told him. Both have gotten close, then morning came. Bell promised that he would save her after learning about what happened, and come back to with his familiar to save her. When they were about to leave, Bell was ambushed by Ishtar's familiar. Who would have thought Freya, God, the Godslayer, would have came here? Well, 
now that you're done with that old and worn out woman, you can come and appreciate true beauty, Ishtar said as she caressed Belle's cheeks. No, never. I will never leave my goddess, Belle said. Oh, that's not up to you anymore. You see, I had the idea. I was going to use a magic stone and sacrifice Haruhime to get her power. However, I think yours would do even better. So, here's the deal. You either come with me quietly and be good while I hold you captive and sacrifice you, or else I will kill Haruhime, Ishta said. So, do you accept my offer? Bell, Kun, she says. Partner, don't, Drake said, but was cut off. Fine, but remove your farmer and let Haruhime leave. As he turned to Haruhime and went like, This isn't your fault, I promise to save you. I don't care about what you did in the past. I don't care if you gave your body to all of the people in Araya. Everyone needs a hero, even prostitutes. Now run to Seir and the others and tell them, Bell said as Ishta removed her farmer and Haruhime reluctantly ran away. I promise to get the others to save you, Belkun. Haruhime yells running. Bell was then taken in handcuffs as Bell started to communicate with Drake. Drake, so that's the plan, Bell said. You really gonna risk your life to help your friends grow partner and proud. But if you're about to die, I will take over and make sure that these insignificant bugs know the true place, Drake said. Well, I might as well screw your goddess even more by taking her lover's virginity, Ishtar said as she went to undress Bell when she was smacked away. Don't touch me. I said I'll come with you. I never said I'll allow you to touch me, Bell said. Why you? Uh, fine. It'll be fun watching watching my familiar destroy your familiar and you'll be watching in heaven as your goddess is disgraced. Perhaps I'll give her to some of my. Before Ishtar could finish, Bell's eyes turned green. Watch yourself, woman. Don't talk about my mate like that. You're lucky that I don't break the agreements that we had, Bell said in draconian voice, scaring Ishtar. One more day and then I don't have to put up with you anymore. Haruhime had made it to Belle's house where she told Freya everything and joined her familiar because Belle wished it. Freya was enraged. How dare that stupid attention whore take my Belle away from me. She would die. She screamed as she went to her house, her tower, which was separate from Belle's, her familiar's place. Ota, prepare for war. We're going to destroy the Ishta familiar, she said as he kneeled before her. Time skip an hour, a day before the sacrificing at Ishtar's familiar territory. Explosions were heard. The fair familiar is attacking us. Holy shit, run. This wasn't suppo supposed to happen. It wasn't meant to be like that. It was meant to be after we sacrificed the boy so we got that dragon power. Freya made it to Ishtar, who had her bell throat near a knife from one of Ishtar's most loyalist members. Give up Freya, or your boy toy dies, Ishtar says smirking as the goddess of beauty looked at the man and charms him who then knocks Ishtar on the floor near the edge nobody dares to touch my little bunny especially not some lowly slut like you Freya says as she bit slaps her off the tower Wealth who was a level 2 thanks to training with Mikoto and Bell and Mikoto who was a level 4 with the help of Haruhime defeated Aisha and the strongest Ishtar familiar member the toad girl Freya hugged onto Bell. My little bunny, did they do anything to you? Don't worry, I'm here now. Nobody will ever hurt you again, Sia said as she pressed Bell's cheeks and she brought his head into her chest, hugging him. I'm sorry for worrying you, my goddess. Bell says as he cupped her cheeks and they kissed, as explosions were seen in the background. Wow, that's so good, my bunny. That was the best I ever had, Sia said. I liked it too, Bell said as the two went home. When they got home, Sia dragged Bell into the, their room as she had enough of waiting. Bell, I really like you. I want you, Sia said as Bell blushed. I, 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 Miss Sia, I, I, okay. Bell said as he remembered how Ishtar almost took his first time and he didn't want his first time to be with someone he didn't love. So he would rather give it to Freya, who he loved. The two then started to get naked as they started to kiss. They then started... Be Bell then started to play with Seir as for the rest of the night moaning was heard. They heard Seir moaning Bell's name and Bell heard moaning Freya. The next day Bell awoke and felt something on his chest. He looked to see Seir, her hair all messy up with remnants of last night displaying on her. As he thought back to what happened and blushed, that was the best night ever he thought. He was finally a man. Grandpa, are you proud of me? He thought. When he thought that a bolt of lightning struck the earth.
Bell somehow knew that his grandpa was proud of him. After that, Say awoke as the two couldn't stop blushing from what had happened yesterday. As Bell saw Haruhime come down, he thought that she was cute. As Haruhime latched onto Bell's head and apologized to him. It's okay, Haruhime, I just want to save you, Bell said, patting her on the back. As everyone was shocked when another two familiar members came up, which were Aisha and Ryu. So, Bell, have you met your new party members? They are Ryu. You know her from the hostess of fertility. And Aisha, a, late, a member of the late Ishtar familia. They wanted to join. Although I don't like Ishtar, she could be a great use to you and your dream of saving the world and becoming a hero, Say said, as Bell nodded. If that's what you want, my goddess, then so be it, he replied. Meanwhile, in the dungeon, we see a little girl with dragon-like wings running. But guys, that's all for today. Peace. Peace. Peace.